fruit faces. I just want to talk with you today a little bit about this Fred Pescatore. I'm not sure if that's how you say his name, but that's how I'm going to say it. He is apparently an MD and he's kind of, from what I can gather here, a low carb guy. Let's go to Dr. Fred here and see like who is this guy before we get into this. He's one of the most sought after natural physicians in the country, specializing in making you feel like the best version of you. So he's one of these doctors that has just happened to be thrust into the media, which I always, 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 if they're in mainstream media, always view them with skepticality, if that's even a word. So he's in all of these articles, he's, you know, he's all over TV, he's done hundreds of radio shows. You can see on me, on the media buzz, he's commenting on everybody's plastic surgery and whatnot. And you can see if you look further into the website that there is a ton of things that he's selling here. You know, I mean, look at this list. This is just, this just the list goes on. I haven't even looked into this stuff, but as you can see, really expensive supplements and whatnot. I want you to get really familiar with this. The Annals of Internal Medicine from March 2014. He's doing his little happy dance because he is just so excited that this study came out that backs up this low carb diet. Okay, so as you can see, here's the article and you can find it with the link below. Let's just go down and just look at the conclusion. Does not clearly support cardiovascular guidelines that encourage high consumption of polyunsaturated fatty acids and low consumption of total saturated fats. So that's how they phrase it, first of all. This is not, however, how the headlines come across. They're only talking about the saturated fat part. They're not talking about the, the lowering or the raising of polyunsaturated versus that. To go ahead and click on this little button here that pops up and so you've got, oh yeah, okay, well this seems good. This seems good, but let's keep digging. It seems very scholarly, doesn't it? But let's keep, oh, okay. Now we have our potential conflicts of interest. And look how long this is. That's very long conflict of interest there. They're basically in bed with each other because you know what? Then as far as antibiotics go, more antibiotics go towards animal livestock than, than all of the people combined that take antibiotics. So you can see how it's really important for these, for big pharma to be invested into, you know, milk and dairy industries. And that's why you have, um, you know, studies like this one that came out that show obviously that um, you know saturated fat is good you know in this make-believe world where they can pay for scientists to say whatever they want because they have so much money and obviously it's not hard to find people to do that you can find a spokesperson for just about anything there's doctors on TV selling all sorts of stuff and this with their budget we have to remember you know their budget is virtually unlimited their budget is so huge. We know they're influencing government. And of course, we have to admit that they're influencing us too. And they influenced me for a very long time. And this guy has other articles that just keep referencing the same faulty study over and over and over again. So as you can see, Fred Pescatore, MD, is basically a media persona kind of like dr oz who if you guys i don't know if you saw that uh john oliver last week tonight john oliver love that show by the way but he's on there talking about how it's not a health it's not a medical show and he's not really giving actual medical advice it's just like oh it's just so much bullshit anyway 
Fred Pescatore is kind of like that. Don't trust any of these doctors on TV. I'm telling when you have ad when you think of advertising and psychology and all of this stuff, like there's no reason that they would want to do the healthy thing for you because their corporation and their bottom their bottom line is the bottom dollar. You know, it's not health of the company and of the nation and of, you know, the world. So is there a vegan conspiracy or is there a meat and dairy industry and who's making money? If you know enough to connect the dots, to follow the money trail, that will always lead you to the right place. There's not a vegan budget anywhere out there that compares to the budget of the meat and dairy industry. And they have enough money to hire people like this. We have to look underneath these silly articles that link to these, you know, these studies that are just basically bunk, just total BS. Oh yeah, keep on keeping on and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and find me on all the other social media. I'm the same name, Clary Berry, pretty much on everything, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, all of it. So don't forget to find me so we can keep in touch and I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to eat your fruit.